Hey everybody, Kathy here with Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. Today we're going to do something totally, totally different. And this was my idea, not a goofy one of Phil's idea. But you know what, it probably sounds like his idea. But anyways, back in Illinois, I made these. And what they were was they were all my own special cards that I would make to send as a thank you note to my friends. And I made quite a few of them, got a lot of compliments on them. So I was thinking, wait a minute. I think I know a new way to make coasters with a salad spinner because that's how I made these with a salad spinner. So I'm laying, you know, in bed and I'm thinking to myself, wait a minute. I have my salad spinner that I brought from Illinois. I'm going to dig it out. So I said to Phil, oh, we're doing a salad spinner video. He goes, really? We're not having salad. He goes, but that's good because I don't like salad anyways. I said, I know. So what I did was, because you're supposed to tape them down and um, because the coasters are heavy, I had some uh, tacky stuff that I got from Hobby Lobby a while ago. And what I did was I took a piece of it, stuck it right in the middle in the back, smacked it down into my handy dandy salad spinner. I've got one already. Uh, yeah, and it there. doesn't okay. move. It does not move at all. Because when you do the, the cards, you just need a piece of tape. Well, this is too... It's too heavy. And the reason I have the sticks is because this is wobbly. And when you go to put your paint down, it wobbles and all of a sudden it goes to one side, then back and it just didn't work. So what I did was I put my sticks in here so I can put in my base and my colors. Then I can remove my sticks because it's not gonna make any difference. And for um, my blowing, what I'm going to do is I'm going to blow my cell activator first a little bit with my, you know, oh. handy dandy straw. And I figured, because um, I know there's a lot of people that can't really blow really, really hard. And this works really well with paint. It did. So I'm going to try it on a coaster and see what happens. The paints I'm using today are Wine and Roses. Sky Blue, Snapdragon, and a Black Activator. So, let's get started and try this together. Okay, I'm going to put my base coat down. And this is just, you know, the white. This white paint? Yeah, it's just the white base. The house paint. And see, it doesn't move because it's steady. Now you don't need a lot of this in here because it, if it's like the paint that I did my cards, it really uh, flies. But you don't want it to fly too, too hard so that you don't have any, you know, paint left on your tile. Well, yeah, if it, if it goes too fast, it'll probably all fly off, huh? Um, yeah. I would assume. Yeah. Huh? But you, you have, this is another thing you have to practice with because um, when I first uh, did my cards, uh, the paint just, I looked at it like, oh my God, this is so ugly. But then after a few tries, it was great. So now I'm gonna put my cell activator in. And like I said, you don't need much. Okay, now take out these to see how wobbly it is. It's and very now, wobbly. And now it can spin now, right? I'm going to blow this first. Okay. I 
it's not really centered. Does that make any difference? Well, we're going to find out, aren't we? <laughs> we're going to find out. Like I said, this is an experiment for me with this. So here we so, go. Okay. You push down and it spins. Okay. I'm going to stop it because you don't want it to. Oh. Okay. You don't want it to yes. spin too much. Well. Like I said. That's what it looks like oh, wow. on that one. That's, that's very interesting. You can set it down. I can get a good picture of it. Okay, still get some lacing. Now we're going we're gonna to try that one more time. And see what happens. Got to put my little sticks in here so it doesn't wobble all over. So you already had the little the stick em gum tacky stuff on the bottom of that. Right. Okay. Got to try it one more time and see if we can get anything remotely close to have it look like that. Okay, here we go again. Hope everybody's having a good day. It was really beautiful here, but now it's getting pretty gloomy. I don't think it's supposed to rain. Is this supposed to rain, Phil? I don't think so. Hey, it's always sunny and warm and beautiful in Arizona. Yeah, right. Not. Okay. So we'll try this again. Is it possible to spin it a little less vigorously? Uh, no, because it oh, just goes. It just goes. Okay. Voila. Is it kind of close to the other one or not? Well, let's see. Yeah, you can well, tell you, it's well, a pair. Yeah, you can, you can tell it's a set. It does some interesting patterns on there. This one I did earlier. Oh, okay, that... Now that was in the larger uh, salad spinner, but you know what? You, it doesn't matter if you have the small one or the large one. Well, these ones you did earlier, oh. I, I think, got a lot more interesting um, composition to them mm -hmm. than these two here. Uh, these did not develop a lot of the uh, interest, I don't know what you call it, lacing or whatever. Yeah. That, that these did. So I don't know what the difference was. Okay, I'm going to show you how I did those compared to how I did these. So, I let this wobble around because it was like, okay, it's just going to wobble around, so I'm just going to hold it still. <clears throat> and if you just let it wobble around, it's really, really hard to get your paints down because it's like you need four hands. <laughs> because you gotta hold that so it doesn't wobble and hope to God it doesn't fall off the tile. And you put your cell activator, but see it's starting to go over on that side. Well, you can um, you can tip it to get it to where you want it before you Correct, spin Phil. it or blow it Correct. or whatever you're going to do. Correct. Yeah. Now, 
with one hand. I gotta use this. Just hope and pray that stays there. Put your lid on. Push it once. Stop it. That one got. There we go. There we go. We're now you're back to getting it uh, to the lacing and yes, stuff. Yes, way cool. But it's you got it. The key is you got to keep it in the middle. So if you have eight hands, <laughs> you can do it. But I mean, I think this is a coolest thing because i'm thinking wait a minute i think you know people can do this you don't have to blow it a lot you don't have to tip it well, at tipping, all tipping takes quite a while it does it's so i mean you don't have to ever tip it it's just getting the knack on doing it because i mean like i said in illinois i was so frustrated i wasted so many cards it wasn't even funny i mean i could have pulled my hair out so i thought okay we're gonna do this so, if you liked this, give me a thumbs up. Um, if I can help you in any way to explain it even more, um, don't hesitate to comment. And uh, please subscribe to our channel because, see, you never know what we're going to come up with. I mean, who thought of a salad spinner with, you know, tiles? Me? Duh. So, anyways, subscribe to our channel, join our family, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye. I'll kind of go through and show them again. These are the ones that you did in the uh, a larger spinner that you have. And this was the latest one you just did now. Very nice. Now, of course, I'm going to show some that didn't quite turn out the way I would hope. They're still they're still nice, uh, just not quite as as nice as the as the other one. So as Kathy said, it just takes a little bit of practice and patience and it's a great way to another technique to uh, to use on your coasters.